Many of Representative Watson's colleagues are keeping quiet about the controversial arrest, but we wanted to know what the governor has to say. Our in-depth coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Erin Kennedy. A caucus of his fellow House Republicans tomorrow to personally explain what happened. Watson is asking his nine GOP colleagues not to comment publicly until hearing his side of the story. The caucus is scheduled for 3 p.m. Tuesday in the House Minority Office at the State House. Meanwhile, we caught up with Governor Lincoln Chafee this morning and asked him about Watson's arrest. He tells Eyewitness News he is waiting for more facts before passing judgment. I'm just hearing about it, and uh, of course, Mike, uh, it's a sad and tragic situation if it's accurate. Shortly after we spoke with him, the governor's office released a statement saying, quote, Governor Chafee believes the incident in Connecticut involving Representative Robert Watson is very unfortunate. However, the governor also recognizes that Representative Watson is entitled to due process. We also reached out to Watson's attorney, former state representative, Timothy Williamson, for comment. He would not speak on camera, but gave us the following statement, quote, He is going to fight the charges. He definitely was not intoxicated. Representative Watson will get his first chance to fight the charges in court on May 5th. Aaron Kennedy, Eyewitness News.